The Diamond Chase Company has been manufacturing quality screen printing frames since 1968. The drawbar frame, tension quick, roller chase, and stretch and glue tubular frames are the four frame product lines manufactured by Diamond Chase. This is the instructional video for the drawbar frame. The drawbar or floating bar concept utilizes a U-channel extrusion with a drawbar adjusted outward with numerous bolts. With the use of the individual bolts, the screen tension can be dialed in throughout the image area, resulting in perfect screen tensions. The adjustability of the drawbar also allows for on-press registering to compensate for substrate changes or fabric relaxing. The drawbar frame is manufactured in three different shapes or extrusions to accommodate various frame sizes and fabric tensions. The standard U-shape was the initial design for the drawbar frame and its advantage is being lighter in weight. To compensate for larger screens or high tension levels, two extrusion shapes were designed to increase the frame strength. One design has ribs or ribbing on the outside of the frame. The second design has a boxed or hollow section added on top of the basic U-shape. Both designs increase the frame's structural strength. Through the years, four types of locking systems have been used with the drawbar. Flat brass, double nylon, keystone, and our newest, the top-loading double nylon. Today, the only recommended systems are keystone and top-loading. The keystone incorporates a single nylon rod extruded in a taper which slides in from the end of the drawbar. This system has been used extensively with stainless steel fabrics and in frames with narrow stretching areas because of its pre-tensioning ability. The top loader uses two round nylon rods which are rolled or snapped into place simultaneously. This system will capture the fabric the easiest and most evenly of the locking systems. The round nylon rod comes in three different diameters and its usage differs with the mesh counts. The drawbar frame is shipped with the white nylon and is designed for the majority of mesh counts commonly used with the frame. A blue rod is recommended for low mesh counts and stainless steel fabrics. An even smaller diameter black rod can be used for low low mesh counts and hard to handle fabrics. The nylon rods can be specially ground for special applications. The tensioning bolts in the frames have come in many combinations, but in our quest for simplicity, we will recommend only a 5 16th diameter stainless steel hex head bolt. Other choices in bolts are plated steel instead of stainless steel, or an Allen head or a recessed Allen head instead of a hex head. A recessed Allen head bolt is flush with the outside of the frame extrusion. The concept for the frame is very simple. Just lock the fabric in the drawbar and rotate the tensioning bolts until the fabric is up to tension. But before stretching the frame, some guidelines should be followed to ease the stretching technique. Pre-bow the drawbar prior to installing the fabric. Adjust the tensioning bolts on each side of the frame so that the ends of the drawbar bow toward the outside of the frame approximately one quarter to three eighths of an inch. This is now a starting position. Tear fabric along the weave so that there will be one to one and a half inches of overhang on the outside of each and every one of the draw bars. To install the fabric into the top loader system, align the torn edge of the fabric parallel to the first draw bar. Then, lock the two round nylon rods simultaneously at the center of the draw bar and roll the insertion tool outward in both directions while aligning the fabric evenly with the frame. Working with the opposite side, next align the fabric with the free sides and insert the two nylon rods into the end of the draw bar. Align fabric parallel and roll the rods into place. Install the fabric in the remaining draw bars. Be sure to keep a hand aligning the fabric well in front of the insertion tool. Work in sections, moving the hand each time. The nylon rods must come to rest side by side, not at an angle. Different diameter rods may be required to accommodate different mesh counts. To lock the fabric in the keystone draw bar requires a similar technique of working opposite sides. However, the nylon rods are slid in from the end of the draw bar rather than loading them from the top like the top loading style. 
With the fabric on the top of the frame, insert the card at the end of the draw bar to groove the fabric. Then slide the tapered rod from the end with the wider portion of the rod facing downward. Lead with the plastic card and follow with the nylon rod. The keystone locking system also requires the removal of slack from the center of the frame. Pre-tensioning is done by pulling upward on the excess mesh with constant pressure and tapping in and out with the plastic card. The pre-tensioning should be done on all four sides and when completed, the fabric should feel even and not touch the stretching surface or table. The recommended method of tensioning the drawbar frame is to work around the frame in a circular pattern, bringing the fabric up to tension evenly. In the first stage of tensioning, rotate all the bolts approximately two to three revolutions except for the end bolts of the drawbar. On the second pass around the frame, tension all the bolts each side of the frame. Remember, never rotate any one bolt more than two to three revolutions and never use a power tool to tension the frame. Before the final tensioning, it may be necessary to soften the corners of the frame about the area of a quarter. To soften corners of the keystone system, simply tap down the nylon rod in the corners with a plastic card. With the top loading system, use your thumb to control the amount of softening. Lift up the outside nylon rod, depress the fabric with your forefinger, and lock the nylon rods back into place. During the final tensioning of the frame, pay close attention to the tension meter and dial in the tension throughout the image area. No question about it, this is our premier frame. It is what we do best, the finest in the industry. This has been an instructional video for the drawbar frame presented to you by the Diamond Chase Company.